Glass is offering the widest range in self-propelled forage harvesting technology, starting with the Jaguar 800 series, then over the Jaguar 900 series. Even we will continue with the two top models, Jaguar 980 and Jaguar 990. And with the Jaguar 1000 series, we will offer in future four new models on top, uh, with, uh, starting with the 1080 and 850 HP. As a top model, the Jaguar 1200 with 1110 HP. So with the Jaguar 1000 series, we kept the concept of the Jaguar family. So for pre-compression rollers, V-flex chopping cylinder and the crosswise mounted engine for a direct drive. But all crop flow components are enlarged really to utilize the high performance of the machine. But on the other side, what we kept is the max outside width with 800 tires, similar like what we know from the 900 series to still be in many markets is still legal on the road. So we see 20% and even more performance uh, in the field with the Jaguar 1000 series. And especially when we come to the sides here, to the extremes, on one side the biogas, so very short length of cut, what we know from Germany, what's very common here. So we see a massive improvement to get more throughput, more capacity. On the other side, we know the customers who are doing shred lash, so there's very long lengths of cut. Also here we need more performance, more processing performance, and we get the big increase and improvement here with the Jaguar 1000 series. The Jaguar stands for efficiency. That is also what we know from the other Jaguar series to be in terms of litter per tons, fuel consumption with a, on a very low level. So what we did on the Jaguar 1000 series, of course, is first the crosswise mounted engine with the direct drive line. As well, we improved also the hydraulic system to be more efficient, to get uh, really special hydraulic pumps to, for the efficiency. We integrated the dynamic cooling, like what we know from the combines, also here with a variable drive line of the fan um, to be on one side in cold conditions for low fuel consumption and have also the capacity of the fan in high con temperature conditions like in California to be really safe at any time. Last but not least, to operating the wider headers here, we increased the diameter of the tires to 2.15 meter and the optional tire inflation system on front axle and rear axle allows us also a high efficiency and a high traction in the field under all conditions. We enlarged the crop flow. We have now integrated in the 1000 series a fully hydraulic pre-compression. This adapts automatically depending on the crops and the length of cut in all conditions. We have introduced our well-known V-Flex chopping cylinder on the 900 series last year. Now we enlarge the V-Flex chopping cylinder to 910 mm outside width. So make it bigger for more performance. Even the corn cracker is now our multi-crop cracker XL, the largest corn cracker in terms of diameter in the market with 310 millimeter rollers. Last but not least, for sure, after the accelerator concept, we have our new spout concept with the folding, with the side folding, also enlarged it huge, to really have a good throwing capacity on the machine to the side, even in this high working with up to 10.5 meter, what we see behind me. So for the Jaguar 1000 series, we developed completely new the headers, the Orbis and the pickups, so without compromises. So starting with the Orbis, First of all, we have offered two working widths on the Orbis. It's a 9 meter, the Orbis 9000, and it's a 10.5 meter working width, so 14 row, the Orbis 10500. Completely new designed and developed here, and what we see even from the crop flow, we have some innovations in it. First of all, we have now CMOS auto crop flow also in an offer for the Orbis. That means depending on ground speed, depending on the crop condition, depending on the length of cut, the Orbis Will, the speeds will adapt it by itself completely automatically and not only the transport disc, even the heating drums will be adjusted automatically. And this adjustment results in a quite smooth and good crop flow and also increase the chop quality of the machine. For the ground floating, even with the 10.5 meter working width, we introduced now some guide wheels behind the orbis for more smooth and better ground floating. Plus, of course, the additional third sensor underneath, auto contour sensor underneath, for the best uh, handling of the orbis in the ground, even with this wide working width. Last but not least here, we kept the nice features like the automatic protection system and as well the uh, transport system what we know also from the other Orbis generations on the smaller machines, we kept this in here, enlarged it, make it more stronger to really, uh, to, that it fits to this machine. The new pickup offer for the Jaguar 1000 series 
is a pickup thousand generation. So available in three working widths. A three meter, the so pickup 3000, a 3.8 meter, and the new model, the new working width, what we will offer, is a pickup 4500 with 4.5 meter working width. Even on pickup, it's a complete new construction. So make it really more reliable, better and in terms of performing the machine, and that's very important. We kept some things like the ground adaptation with the floating pickup reel. This is something what we kept to be really flexible and have a good collection of the crops from the ground. On the other side, like I said before, no compromises in terms of drive line. First of all, there's no chain drive anymore on the pickup. It's all about gearbox drive lines with even no overload clutch. That means here we can really go to full capacity of the machine with this pickup generation. Another innovation is, is the cam track. The cam track is not an open cam track anymore. It's now closed in a gearbox. So it's close to maintenance free. Of course, some year by year we need to change the oil in this cam track, but otherwise there is no wear in this cam track anymore. So that makes really the pickup uh, really for this high amount and high demand of the Jaguar 1000 series in terms of capacity. And these are really the features what we see also from the experience in the field to increase the level and performance even like an example in winter forage in California. With the new Jaguar cabin on Jaguar 1000 series, we did a lot of improvement for the operator, for the operator comfort. First of all, we improved the view to the spout. We increased the volume of the cabin for a more spacey workplace for the operator. As well, we reduced the noise level in the cabin. Even we know already today that on Jaguar 900 series, we have the lowest noise level in the cab in the market, and even here we induced it, reduced it more on the Jaguar 1000 series. Regarding the operation, here, it's a class machine and the operator will feel home. So we kept all the operator assistance systems like what we know from the other Jaguar series. A little highlight here, as a first self-propelled harvest machine in class, we introduced exclusive here on the Jaguar 1000 series, the joystick steering. The joystick steering allows us to be uh, more comfortable, have a more comfortable seat position for the operator. And additionally, beside the joystick steering, we have also now introduced six F buttons, which can be configured individual with the CBIS, that everything is on hand for the operator and makes the operation finally more smooth for longer, hard working days. On the Jaguar 1000 series, we introduced in standard the CMOS Auto Header. So this is close combined with the secondary variable header drive on the pickup, like what we know also from the other Jaguar generations, and also now introduced in the Orbis. And this relates to the chop lengths, to the ground speeds, and adjusting the headers always to the optimum performance automatically for a smooth crop flow, and even to increase the performance in terms of chop quality. That's also a very important factor. On side of CMOS Auto Header, we have also CMOS Auto Crop Flow as a feature available for the Jaguar 1000 series. And this is just an overload protection, really where we stop when too much material is coming into the machine. We stop the feed roller drive that uh, the machine can enable itself for a more constant harvesting. Last but not least, a very well-known and a very good proven feature, and even when we're going to bigger size and not able to utilize the full capacity of the machine, we have our CMOS Auto Performance. And with CMOS Auto Performance, the machine adapts itself in terms of capacity, so ground speed. That means if we have lower crops, the machine will run faster. If we have higher crops, the machine will go slower. And if the crops are really not big enough to utilize the full power of the machine, even then we will also cut down the torque costs of the engine, reduce the engine capacity, and due to that, we will finally save fuel and have, again, good fuel consumption in terms of litter per ton and harvested material. Connectivity is a key. And even for Jaguar and even the Jaguar in his harvest fleet, so we're talking always about a fleet, so here on the Jaguar, first of all, let's start with the production of data. We know the precise quantimeter for the yield measuring. We know the new nutrimeter, and we know it for its precise um, documentation of the dry matter or moisture, and of course in the ingredients of the crops. For the documentation, 
to bring all this data together. We can do it with the Siemens 1200, with the GPS steering system, have also live yield mapping available to get really a precise yield map finally. This data get transferred to Class Connect. And in Class Connect, you can do the next step in the farming procedure, even up to the point of precision farming with all this information afterwards. Additionally, Class Connect is not only the application in the, in the office, it's even on your mobile phone. Here, I want to highlight the job quality function. So with the job quality app, in Class Connect, we can measure the kernel processing score directly in the field. And this value gives the driver, the farmer, a really known and important figure how good the maize silage is processed and how good are the kernels broken for a good silage quality, a good feed afterwards. Mm -hmm.